Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage and it is the last day of Inktober. So that means it's day 31 and the prompt is fire. And my sketchbook and my pencil, let's get started. So I'm drawing something that I've drawn a couple times in past Inktobers. And I think a lot of people draw during Inktober. Maybe you can tell what it is, maybe not. How about now? Here's my little fire. I'm trying to figure out how I want the bottom to be because I don't really know what to do. Maybe it's just a floating cauldron. Maybe the cauldron's held up by crystals. Maybe this whole thing is just magical. I don't know. And I'm just gonna put in some decorations around the page. Fill it in. All right, one last time. We're gonna go in with our thin micron. All right, I let it dry for a few minutes. Now it's time to erase. So today I'm gonna to be using a variety of different pens. Some are from the dollar store, some are from Five Below, others are Paper Mate, and maybe more. Uh, just whatever I feel like grabbing is what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's get started.
I think that's all I want to do for coloring. I know I'm not like super coloring this, but I wanted to end it off pretty light. So now I'm going to go in with my Fudunosuke soft brush here and touch up the line work. All right, here we are at the final Inktober. Again, I know it's not like heavy coloring, but I wanted to end it off on an easy-ish note here. I add some sparkles. I really like the design of this one, and I think I'm probably gonna turn it into a coloring page right away. This is my finished prompt for fire. That is gonna be it of Inktober. Uh, I had a lot of fun this year. I managed to record everything ahead of time so I wasn't stressing out about getting it done same day and edited and everything. Um, it was a little rough at the end there because I had to finish before a deadline because I have other things going on in life and whatnot. So I did like five prompts in one day and that's very stressful, but still, I managed to do it and we're done. If you're thinking about doing October next year, I highly recommend it. My favorite supplies from this year were definitely my uh, Fudonoskes and I like the Windsor Newton inks. I didn't use them that often, but I really do like them compared to the Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay India inks. I think they just like go on the paper nicer, but that could also be a specific to this paper type. Because I know in the past my Bombay inks actually uh, went on the paper I originally used for my very first Inktober very well. Look forward to a flip through of my Inktober sketchbook here in a, in a bit. Oh wait, I forgot some stuff. And then we're going to return to once a week regular scheduled videos. That's going to be it for me today. If you want to check out another cool video, you can go ahead and click the link here. And if you want to catch up on anything you missed, you can go ahead and click the link here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!